Hey children, good morning. Today I am going to teach another lesson that is nesting habits of birds. In this lesson we are going to learn about the different types of nest made by different birds. Okay children, so do we need a house to live? Yes, we need a house to live. So why do we need a house? So to protect us from cold, heat, rain, wind and from the enemies. So like us, other living beings also need shelter to live in. So do animals make their houses? No. They live in a different place. This means some animals live in a cave, some animals live under the shade of trees, some animals live in a burrows. And some animals live in the sheds that are made by the human beings. Excellent. But birds are the only animals which make their nest to live. So what is the nest? The place where a bird and its young ones live is called a nest. What is the nest? The place where a bird lives with its young ones is called a nest. So birds make a nest. So they were when they are ready to lay eggs and to hatch them, they build their nest. They build a nest. So in the months of February and March. They get very busy to collect the materials to build a nest. Okay children. So they build a nest to lay eggs and to hatch them. And birds select suitable place to make their nest and to protect the nest from the enemies. And birds use different places to make their nest. So what are the places? In which places the birds make their nest? In the trees and broken walls, ventilators, old buildings, skylights and in the cover cups of a ceiling fan. Cover cups of ceiling fan. Okay children. And birds use different materials to build a nest. Birds collect different materials to build a nest. What are that materials? Dried grass, green grass, feathers, small sticks, cotton, wool, paper, old clothes, threads, leaves. Okay, children. And they fly again and again to collect the materials. We can observe some birds near our houses. They collect some material and come to our ventilators. Yes, they keep that material and they fly again. And they bring some materials. So like that, to make one nest, they fly again and again to collect the materials. Okay children, and they make the nest warm and comfortable for their young ones. So here, we are going to learn about different kinds of birds make different types of nest. Types of nest. Types of nest. First one, sparrow and pigeon. Sparrow and pigeon. So these birds build their nest on branches of trees, windows, and ventilators of the houses. So what materials are used by these birds to make their nest? Dried grass, green grass leaves, cotton threads and pieces of 
plots okay children and these nests nests are untidy not clean but these nests are deep cup shaped so that the eggs and baby birds or egg birds do not fall from it okay children so sparrows and pigeons are these birds are very friendly to the human beings as children so they build their houses or they build their nest near to the the places near to the human beings means where the the dwelling place of human beings okay children so these birds build their nest near to the living place of the human beings and they feel safe okay next tailor bird this tailor bird uses two or three leaves two or three leaves to make its nest to make its nest so it uses its curved beak as a needle and it uses thread or spider web to stitch the to stitch the leaves to stitch the leaves and to make it as a nest so it is called as a tailor bird as it uses the its nest okay children so what it uses it uses only three or two leaves and with the help of its needle like beak with the help of its needle like beak it stitches the leaves with the help of a thread or spider web okay children next weaver bird so weaver bird weaves its nest using grass and small pieces of leaves grass and small pieces of leaves so the nest usually hangs down from the branch of the tree from the branch of the tree it has an opening at the bottom of the nest it has an opening at the bottom of the nest through this opening or through this hole bird enter inside or come out of the nest so it is very attractive it is this birds the weaver's birds nest is very attractive so it is used as a decorative piece okay children next one is a woodpecker this woodpecker makes its nest in the trunk in the tree trunks okay children so how do they make holes in the tree trunks they make holes in the tree trunk with the help of their sharp and hard beak so when the hole is large enough large enough they make the they make the nest comfortable by lining the small pieces of or small chips of wood and grass okay children did you understand next bulbul the bulbul makes its nest with a straw or that is dried grass in a bushes in a bushes and it is also like a deep cup so that the eggs and hang ones do not fall off from the nest do not fall out of the nest next partridges and fowls so partridges and fowls make their nest in the ground in the ground so they dig the holes in the ground with the help of their beaks and feet they dig the holes in the ground with the help of their beaks and feet 
to make their nest. So they make their nest comfortable by lining with different sorry, dried grass and leaves. Dried grass and leaves. So they usually choose the paddy fields. They usually choose the paddy fields or grasslands. Grasslands to protect the nest, to protect their nest from their enemies or to hidden the nest. Hidden the nest by the plants. Next, vulture. Vultures, these are very big. Yes, you know, these vultures are very big. So they make the nest also very big on a tall on a tall trees with the sticks. So they look like a shaloka. They look like a shaloka. Okay. Next, parrots. So parrots also build their nest in the holes of the tree trunks. Next, owls. Owls, they use up old buildings and tree holes to make their nest. So they build their nest in a old buildings and holes of the tree trunks. Next, cuckoos. Cuckoos. Do they build their nest? Do they build their nest? No, it is very lazy and it is very clever. It lays eggs in the crow's nest. It lays eggs in the crow's nest. Crows only hatch the eggs and feed their babies along with the own babies. Means here there is no difference. Crow's babies and the Cuckoos and ones also same color. And ones are in a same color. So the, the crows think these are also their own and ones. That's why they feed the they feed the babies of the cuckoos along with her own and ones. Okay, next penguins. Penguins they collect the Stones and small pebbles to make a nest on the ground. Okay, just they collect small pebbles, small pebbles and stones. Okay, and they build their nest on the ground. Next, care of the young ones. Care of the young ones. So when the nest is ready, the mother bird lays eggs in it. So here both mother and father birds, both mother and father birds sit on the eggs to keep them warm and to hatch the eggs. To hatch the eggs. Okay, so here the egg birds do not have feathers and they do not open, they cannot open their eyes also. Yes, no, no. So after coming out of the eggs, they don't, they don't have feathers yes? and they cannot open their eyes also. Why? They are very small. So they cannot fly in the air and they cannot collect their food. So that's why mother bird collect the food and crush the food with the help of their beak and make it soft in its mouth. And this soft food is pushed into the mouth of the baby birds. Pushed into the mouth of the baby birds. So the parent bird teach the egg birds how to fly and how to collect the Foot. So after getting feathers, after getting feathers, and when they are, when they can fly, when they can fly, so they leave the nest. The young birds leave the nest. 
so after leaving the nest with the young ones leave the nest the mother bird also leave the nest the mother bird also leave the nest again they build their new nest in the next breeding season means when they are ready to lay eggs and to hatch them so that time they make another new nest okay children did you understand up to here okay good